What's good? What's good? What's good, everybody, man? It's your boy Masai Boss, and I'm well here with my boy Roteague, man. Yeah, we back at the, it again. This is the Quality Life Podcast. This is episode ten, man. Man, ten of these things, bro. Ten episodes we in, man. Yeah. And man. actually, we man, yeah. we, we got to ten. We got to ten pretty quick, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like it, it's kind of crazy because you know, like we we. When we first started, we was like, you know, bro, we gotta we gotta knock one out, we gotta knock one out, we gotta knock them out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. at the end of the day, like in our mind, like we really wanted to be like, we want to knock one of them out every day just to have them in the stage. Just have them ready, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Just to have them ready. That's what that's what our uh ideal and our goal and our plans was. But you know, hey, like, and it is what it is, man. It gives us time to stretch out a few yeah. topics. It gives us time to stretch yeah. out some topics. It gives us time to uh, rest, chill, keep do what fresh. we want to do, keep it fresh. Yeah. So uh, before we get into man tonight's episode, man, uh, what's what's going down, man? Tell me, tell me about your day, man. What's been happening with you, man? You know, just uh, you know, just, just another day at, at the J. You know, uh, you know uh, what they say, man. Trying to make a dollar out of fifteen cent. You know, yes, you know how, how that go, man. Just uh, yes, sir. on on the grind. You know what I mean? All the time. Most know? definitely. You know, but um, it, you know, it, it, the day today, man, kind of dragged for your boy. You know, usually time be going quick, but maybe yeah, because it was slow at the store. That's probably what it was, man. You know, it was it was kind of dead in there. Oh, it was kind of so, dead out there. Yeah, man. So you know, I need you know things to do. I can't just be idle, sitting posted up. Yeah, time go by slow yeah. for me, man. It I go need, by. It go by need, real yeah, slow, bro. I need to be doing something, man. You know. I guess uh, you know it's all in the within the eye of the beholder, I guess. But you know, other than that, man, you know, blessed to have a job, blessed to you know be on this power with you. You know what I mean? And you know, every, every day is good for me. What about you, brother? Oh man, you know it's it's a blessing, man. For you already know, you already know. But uh, me and the wife gonna do a little bit of celebrating this weekend for the anniversary, man. Going on almost going on twenty years, man. Twenty years, so, bro. Woo. Uh, so yeah, man, we're gonna do it. Shout little, out to Mrs. Do. Boss, man. You know, you we get on the pod, bro. Yeah, she she gonna get on the pod. We was trying to get on tonight, but she, you know how y'all ladies do. Y'all wanna get Come all on, man. made up and lipstick and eyelashes on, and man. you know everything. <laughs> gotta do like, all that. Because, because I mean, but I at the end of the day, like I said, I ain't gonna let you get out here like that because you know, see, I ain't tripping on the internet chopping on me. You know, social yeah. media, they can chop on me all day. But yeah, you know, yeah. they, 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 they tend, yeah, they tend to try to go hard on uh People significant others, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So, that. uh, that's true, yeah, that's true. I, I, I'm like, that's nah, true. baby, don't, don't, you can't come out here, you can't come out stepping out of, you can't step out halfway, man, because they gonna chop you, baby, they gonna get you, <laughs> they gonna, they gonna, gonna chop you. you, you know what I'm saying? You. So, you, uh, man, you know, you know, your boy gotta do a little housekeeping, yeah, you know yeah, how to do it, man, do your house uh, cleaning, bro. I hope you know, just uh, let you get into out. that, you know, you know, you y'all know who I'm shouting out, but I'm keep doing it, man. Shout out to to the Don Dada. You know what I mean, and and his wife Troy Denise over there. And shout out to Troy, T R O Y A Denise dot com, man. You know y'all go check her out. She got some good, you know, good good quality uh clothing over there. You know for yeah. the ladies, y'all. You know, when, you know if y'all stepping out, hopefully COVID safe. You know y'all do your thing. You know she she got y'all. You know I got shout out definitely, to my aunt. Definitely, definitely. I, you know you got, got shout out to my uncle, man of the hour, Jason T. At uh, you know, very opinionated show. They doing some good things over there. You know, I got and 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 one more shout out, my brother, man. This dude I used, you know, this dude I grew up with. He he, I've known him the longest, man. Um, out of all my friends, because I met him right before I started high school, in um, mm-hmm. in, in in ninety four. You know, he we used to live, you know, at my old spot. You know, so uh, man, we go back. He he texted me today. And was like, man, he uh he rocking with us. He he said, man, I'd heard all the episodes except for the last one we did. Yeah. And uh, you know, I was like, man, shout out to so you know, shout out, shout out to you, MBG. Shout out to you, man. I appreciate that. Well, shout appreciate out, all yeah. the people that's rocking well, with us, man. Shout, you know what I mean? All, all the love, man. We we here for yeah. the love. We here you know for it, man. I appreciate we, y'all, bro. We know we know we got a long road to go to. We just get started. Like I was we telling people, man, you know, uh people, people was just like, yeah, man. Just keep grinding, just keep doing it, bro. I know y'all, keep I know y'all it. just starting it, and I know y'all just trying to, you know, make it through where y'all gotta make it to, but just keep on doing it, and then y'all gonna be all right. So no we're gonna keep on, we're gonna keep on grinding, we're gonna keep it steady pace, man. Like I said, we're gonna we have plans to grow, 
we have plans to change some things up. We have uh plans to liven it up, maybe uh yeah, get get uh better programs and things of that nature. We're gonna uh soon get together and we're gonna put up maybe a cash app. So if, for people who want to donate to us, I have a personal cash app right now, but I ain't gonna put it up. So yeah. um we're gonna do a cash app. We will most likely gonna possibly start a Patreon page, uh, depending on how we feel. We're gonna start doing some YouTube lives. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We're just trying to get more viewers. Man, yeah. if y'all watch this podcast, man, forward it. Forward yeah. the podcast to people. You know, put that yeah. link into your phone, into your message, man. And just, and just send it to every every contact in your phone and say, rock with my boys, man. They out here, they grinding, they working, they hustling. And yeah. uh yeah, man, we're gonna we gonna expand and we're gonna we gonna get it right. Yeah. We're gonna, we gonna get it it's right. Coming, bro. Grow. Yeah, it's coming it's for coming. sure. Man, what what's that email again, bro, brother? The email. Okay, before I jump into the email, okay. uh like I tell everybody, you know, from this show, uh actually from how many shows ago? I'm gonna say like four or five shows five, ago. Four or five, yeah. Yeah. Every episode is gonna have timestamps. You know, I, I, I don't uh I don't hold everybody to sit. And watch the whole hour or two hours or however long we go, you know. But uh, if you do, thank you for you know giving the time. You know, thank you for watching the whole podcast. But I do not expect people to give an hour and a half or two hours out of their day being a fan of ours, you know. So we got timestamps on there. Y'all go through the timestamps and y'all listen to certain segments that y'all want to hear that is you know pretty much uh relevant or prevalent. Or what you see that you can use in your life or what you may be thinking about. If y'all got any questions, if y'all got anything y'all want us to talk about, if y'all even want to hop on a podcast, we're not trying to charge nobody to hop on. We're not trying to do none of that. We're just trying to build bridges and we're trying to branch out and we're just trying to build a fan base right now. So if y'all got any questions, the email is QLIFE, QLIFE, the number three at gmail.com. The email again is QLIFE, the number three at gmail.com you can get at me at twitter at messiah x5 and you can get at me on instagram at square biz 1983 we got the quality life podcast uh on youtube we're gonna uh, load some episodes on that uh yeah. man, do, you, do you got the episode are you gonna you gonna uh stream them you gonna download them from the I'm, the, the I'm, 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 a, I'm a i'm a download them as soon as that um as soon as that equipment come in man that was that i was you know got uh you know got some uh some you know new new equipment coming in so i'm you know so we start downloading on that channel you know what i mean yeah and, uh, so we're gonna download you know, it to the, yeah, to the youtube it's coming yeah and, uh yeah my uh, my bro gonna get his uh he got a facebook he's still working he's under construction right now and yeah. we're gonna get on other uh coming out here. social media platforms yeah and uh yeah yeah we building though just just know yeah. we're working yeah here. We yeah. we we in the ground right now, but I'm I promise y'all, man. Episodes are only gonna get better. Yeah, they only man, gonna be get honest better. with you, bro. I put these ten, what you call them? Uh, uh I believe lost dungeon episodes. Dungeon I put it up episode. against anybody, bro. I put it up against anybody. You know what I'm saying? I, I believe we really speaking from the heart and giving it yeah. to you know, giving our uh, life experiences and trying yeah. to help. You know what I mean? So uh, you know it, it it's it's only gonna get better, man. The sky's the limit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially when. Big fella involved in it, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you, know, you, know you rocking, man? you rocking with it's God. You big know? fella. Yeah, yeah, you rocking with, you rocking with God. You might stumble, but at the end of the day, man, we gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. We, no we doubt. Just gotta keep keep putting that work in, no and doubt. you know, the the press up behind that faith. You know what I'm saying? No doubt, no doubt, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, we, I know we about to get into it, man. And um, I got a uh, I got a question from uh from from my from my diamond home girl. Shout out to you, diamond. Yeah. That uh, you know, she watched the last one. Yeah. And uh, you know, you was flowing, but uh, I asked you, man, what you like to do in your in your free time, I, I like him, to unwind. Over it, huh? and you, we, I she was like, she, yeah, she was like, man, he just he just went, went smooth by. So you know, you know, I had to double back. <laughs> you know what I mean? What what does Messiah your boss like to do? You know what I'm saying? When you know, when, when uh, when he just unwinded, what you like, bro? What you well, got? Obviously, you know, I like shooting the part. You know what I'm saying? We podcasting no doubt, right no now. No doubt. Yeah. You know. No doubt. Uh, I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to doing music. You know what I'm saying? Like I have uh yes sir. I, I used to do a raw no rotig no. I used to do a lot of music. Yeah. And uh like I said, you know, I progressed and I got better over the years. But when COVID yeah. came around, when COVID came around, uh, I had to shut the recording down, you know, and uh 
put a little bit more time into into my kids while they was at home doing virtual schooling and stuff like that. So uh, I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get back into record music. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, this is initially where this equipment came from anyway, from record music. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I'm gonna get back into doing that. Uh, other than that, bro, I um my free time, man. Honestly, if if I could outside of doing these parts and doing music, mm. if I had any free time to really designate, I would actually try to be out there really like uh getting back to helping like you know the neighborhood and homeless folks mm. and and uh and getting out there and trying to see what I can actually do with my little, you know, my little strength, my little whatever to to help what's going on in the communities and things like mm. that because I always wanted to uh not necessarily I don't, I don't want to say start no ministry or nothing like that cuz I don't want to act like I'm trying to be some type no preacher no pastor or nothing like that but yeah. I always wanted to start a a program man that could just you know help encourage and help uplift not only just my people you know like I yeah. uh, I I had to talk to a lot of people about uh Pro black, we're gonna get into that later on. But uh <laughs> but um not only just help my people, you know, but I understand I want to help the world, but I understand my my community is 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 really uh the scapegoat and it's really the the yeah. the punching bag of this nation, yeah. of this society. So, you know, if, if you understand if I want to devote a little bit more time to my people in my community, you got to respect that. So that's what I, that's what I plan on doing with everything really get rocking. You know, yeah. I don't want to just, I don't want to just talk about it. You know, even my wife wanted to to do some things and uh do more, you know, help with the community. She already does teaching with, with the community now, you know, uh, wow. through her profession, you know, she helped young ladies uh, deal with uh being, you know, new pretty much new mothers mm. you know okay or, or about to about to have babies and things of that nature so she helped with a lot of uh you know help for for the women you know for the women okay. think, who uh who are expecting children and things of that nature so okay so That's yeah so up. it's uh i, I want to get my own uh equivalent thing going so others other than that man i, I try to just uh other than that, I try to branch out and I try to help different people in, in places that I know I kind of got. I don't want to say expertise, but some mm. expertise in my mind on mm. things. So in my free so time, like a mentor. yeah, pretty much, pretty much mentor a big brother or, um, you know, I don't want to get cliche and be like influencer, life coach and nothing like that. Mm. Now, yeah. just man, just come to me like when you just need, you know, need somebody to really sit back and just. You know, chop it up with you to see chop it up with you, Yeah, yeah. I, I want to yeah. honestly. I wanted to be. Uh, this ties into that. Honestly, I wanted to initially be a therapist. I wanted to go to. Uh, mm. I wanted to be a psychologist. That's what I really wanted to be. You oh know yeah. What I'm but uh, you know, school. I didn't. I didn't go all the way through school. Man, life yeah. hit. And uh, you know, hopefully, uh, if, if, if God yeah. grant me with uh, grant me with the money and grant me with the time and the patience, bro. I'm I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to school and get my psychology degree, man, and I'm gonna I'm gonna bring that up. I'm gonna bring that to the community, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, you know, um, I guess I'm. Let me uh, let me ask you like this. Let's just say, you know, after COVID and everybody's safe and all that, you know, we you you invite your, your boy out to the spot yeah. and it's a cookout. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You you are you cooking? You grilling? What you doing? Oh, yeah. You know, I know it's gonna be dominoes yeah. over there. What you yeah. doing? I'm a, I'm gonna touch the pit, you know. I'm a, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the pit? yeah. If if we have a if we have a company or something of that nature, I, I I'm gonna touch the food because I know how I want it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you you particular, my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how okay. I want. It. No, don't get it twisted. If somebody if I'm at somebody else's spot doing their thing, okay, you know, and they want to host up and do what they got to do, I let them mm -hmm. do what they got to do. But okay. when I'm when I'm in my crib, you know, I like to give people the whole experience of me. So I'm going to be okay. on the grill. I, you know, I'm going to be the type of, I'm going to be the cat that's, I'm going I'm to see everybody on the table. You know, I'm going to have a drink in my hand. I'm going to be talking noise yeah. on my back. You know, I'm okay. going to have my sweat rag while I'm cooking. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. You got to. Yeah. Got to. But, uh, yeah. but yeah, yeah. I'm going to be, I'm going to be on the pit. I'm going to be cooking. I'll be back and forth okay. from, the, 
from the pit to the stove. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. I, so, yeah. You know, another, you know, a follow up question would yeah. be what kind of music is going to be at the cookout? You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, you know, we, we clearly melanated over here. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, yeah. we, you know, we got the soul over here. So hmm. are we going, you know, we, you know, Luther, Michael, the, uh, you know, what, what, what we got, you know what I'm saying? It, it don't. Rick it don't. James, who you got? Yeah, all of that. All of that. Plus, all of it. All of that plus some country. Some country. Yeah, plus some country. You, you listen to get, country, bro. You might get a little soft rock in there. You know what soft I'm saying? Rock. You okay. might get. You might get some soft rock because think think about it, bro. Look at all the. Uh, if you think about it, back in the day when Michael and them was coming out, mm. the soft rock bands were still hitting in the black community. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the Guns and Roses, the band Halo, it was still black folks listening to that. that yeah, you know yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm just shocked that that's gonna be at yeah. your cookout, though. You know what I mean? Oh, you 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 might you might uh you know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a music head, but I'm a I see. Like I say, I'm an old school music head. I ain't too much. You ain't for to hear too much of that trap rap and all. And nah, yeah. we ain't doing. If, if, yeah. yeah. if you got to have trap rap out there on the radio, it's best for you to not come over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on, man. Yeah. Or, you yeah. know, we always win the fire and stuff like exactly. that. That's how exactly. Yeah. exactly. I, I'm, yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna be playing what I grew up listening to. Yeah. You know, what you I'm know saying? what's funny, bro? Like, like my mom when I when I was coming up, she would be like, you know, uh, like typical parents, like you know, this and the music that we listen to. You know, man, be, y'all, y'all don't know about music. You know what exactly. I mean? And uh, yeah. you know, I, I, I find myself doing the same thing nowadays. But look, look, I give everybody a fair shake. Yeah. It's, some, it's some new people that are okay. Yeah, you know they they have a lot of this. I'm like, man, I can't do it, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I be trying to put people on two pocket biggie. You know, but but like yeah. you know the youngsters they ain't trying to hear that. Man, you know, they, but, uh, they ain't trying to hear, you know, man. You know, as I got older though, man, I appreciate Earth Wind and Fire, Lionel Richie, like the stuff that was before yeah, me. I'm like, exactly, man, that, exactly, like, they exactly. was jamming the Osleys, all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Most definitely, they, they, they was jamming, bro. You know what I yeah. mean? They, you know, they but, uh, you know. Yeah, they they was jamming. That's that's where it was at, and it, it was. Yeah. A, I'm not gonna say it was super clean because they had a lot of you know you know messages in the yeah, music too. Yeah, they did. But, yeah. uh, but uh, it's just to me, it's especially now, bro. Like like you said, bro. You you four old, yeah. And I'm and I'm 38, so it's like yeah. We like I'm I ain't I'm I can't be all trapped out, man. Right? I'm just nah, it ain't it ain't even in me like that, man. I, I I'm nah, chilling, man. I'm chilling. Nah. Them days over with, brother. Come yeah, on, it's, it's it's a wrap. It's a wrap for me. I can't <laughs> all that all that loud booming and banging and stuff. Now don't yeah. get it. No, don't get it twisted. I can't say that uh, when COVID over, if me and the wife and the fellas want to reconnect, we want to go out to a spot and so I can deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just going. It's going to be a fleeting thing. It ain't going to be like yeah. all six days a week. Like no, 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 no. I, no, I, no, I can no, deal. No. I can deal with that. That no. once, once here, once there type deal. But yeah. you talking about just every day, just no, nah, man, no, nah, man. I, I like, I like I, my life mellow right now, man. It's peaceful. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. yeah. Peaceful. So, I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's real peaceful. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, let's let's go ahead, jump into it, man. Uh, man, it's on you, any, big any, homie. Any other any other housekeeping you got, bro? No, no, no. That was it. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I, uh, you know, I got all the uh, the. the the, uh, the the boxes check. We good, bro. You okay. know what I mean? Okay. So, you know, what you want to get into uh, tonight? Man, first let's start off with what's, what's going on with DMX, man. R.I.P. to DMX, man. R.I.P. to Earl Simmons. R.I.P. to the dog. Uh, yo, man, that that's a man. blow, man. That's a blow. Big one, bro. Big one. You know what's sad about this situation, man, is that crazy. Literally, like, I want to say a week and a half, two weeks ago, if I'm a, if I'm not mistaken, he was on drink mm -hmm. camps. He was on he what? Was, he was on the show Drunk Champs. Oh, okay. You know okay. I mean? He he was yeah. on Drunk Champs, you know, talking about his life, his career, and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was pretty much like trying to give him his flowers. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, he pretty much kind of ended off like, you know, if I die right now, you know, my last thought would be, I had a good life. You know, what I'm wow. saying my life, my life was good, my life was great. My life was phenomenal. I, I did everything that I would like to do. You know what I mean? I I had I had a hell of a life. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And just to see that. And then you only can and then to see that he's he's gone. He passed away last night. 
you know, or the well, you could say last night, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh to see that he's gone. Uh look back at the career that he had. Damn. Look back at the uh just the accolades. Like th- this is the artist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I can't really I can't really talk about him the man because I don't we're not that we're not close to him yeah. like we didn't know him like that. We didn't know him like even though he was one of the people whose music was so realistic where you thought like nigga, that's yeah. Uncle DMX, that's Uncle true. X. You know what true. I'm saying? You know, Very I, true. I, I released a tweet yesterday. I say, you know what, man? I said DMX really had me missing a dude named Kato. I ain't even know. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, man? yeah. That's one of my favorite DMX songs, man. Yeah. And yeah. At, the, at the end of the day, it was like uh that's the kind of presence he had. Yeah. That's the kind of yeah. vibe he had. You know, that's yeah. the kind of energy he had. Yeah. And uh just as artists, man, I can honestly say that's one person I really wish I could have met mm. in person. Mm. I would I really you wish I could I really I really wish I would, I could have met him in person, man. Yeah, and just, man. just chopped it up with him because he yeah. one of the people that you just knew he was gonna, gonna give you real life game. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah. You knew he yeah. was unfiltered, unfiltered, unfiltered real raw yeah. truth. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I can respect. He wasn't gonna give you no. Oh yeah, I'm in front of the camera, so I gotta be PC with you. And, you know, he gonna tell you what's really good. He gonna, yeah. What's really good? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, unapologetically, so, bro. Unapologetically, so uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, bro. Like uh, man, you know, if I could speak on him, man, uh, like, what's, what's your take on it, man? You know, um, um, I, you know, I was talking to uh, you know, one of my partners, you know, today about it, and um, man, just whenever I hear DMX, it always takes me back to high school. You know that, you know. Our formative years, like mm-hmm. I believe that those are like, you know, like middle school, high school, and all that. But like exactly. in high school for me, that's when I started like really loving music because I love music. Yeah. And uh, you know, I'm a big Tupac and Biggie fan. So like yeah. y'all know, you know, just you know, recap the history a little bit. Pac Pac died in 96, yeah. Big died in 97, you know, yeah. and it was a big like hole in hip hop, man, because them man, like. Like they, I said, were the man, yeah, they were the Titans, man, yeah. Titans, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and to go out back to back like that, it was like, yeah. man, like it was a big boy. So he come out 98. I never forget it, man. You know, like, you know, he he the first one I heard from him was a uh, um um uh man uh the one with um get at me, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah, but this yeah. back in the day, yeah, you know, we ain't had no streaming, we ain't had no YouTube, we ain't had none of that. We had to look at stuff through BT. Or mm-hmm. MTV, so yeah, like the MTV, then they didn't want to play it like that. So mm-hmm. I heard, you know, and it was all censored and stuff. So it was like, man, what, you know? And I'll be like, man, this dude jam, but yeah, I never yeah. forget when uh Rough Riders Anthem came out, bro. That was my really? year, man, man. Because like I said, you know, if you looked at him, he, you know, he kind of had the same type type of body as like Pop, you know, or like Prison, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like he had, he was cut from the same mold, kind of. So mm-hmm. it was like. Yeah. And when he came out with that, bro, man, it was man, cause he he dropped like two albums back to back, and back then dudes weren't doing that. You know what I mean? Like, but you know, I never forget that 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 summer, man. The summer, you know, like he was just everywhere, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, man, you know, I was a big fan. Like, it's a lot of he got a lot of bangers. You know what I yeah. mean? And it's like, you know, like you said, he was on that show a couple weeks ago. And, and remember, he like going back to an episode we did. I don't know, maybe episode four or five, 24 hours to live. He yeah. was in that song. He was a big part of it. He was the last he, one yeah, to, uh, he was the last, I believe yeah. he was the last one to go. You know yeah. what I mean? And uh he smashed it too. And yeah. for him, you know, and, and for him to um, you know, have peace about it, uh, you know, peace about his life on that show, man. It's just like, you know, uh, you gotta respect the way he lived. You know, he granted he had his struggles like everybody do, you know what yeah. I mean? And it's and it's well documented, but uh you know, that's a big loss, man. You know, big up to him. You know, yeah. big. You know, big, now let me let me get let me get a little controversial, right? Hey, man, that's what you're here for. I know how you do it. Put that black hat on. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, me, let me get a little a little controversy on the topic, right? Okay. <clears throat> Obviously, if people don't know by now, I'm a professional wrestling fan. I haven't watched as much of the new wrestling. But back in the day when I was kids, 
when we was kids. Mm. When we was kids growing up and before when we was kids growing up, okay. one thing one thing you knew about that time, that period, that culture and wrestling yeah. was that it was a lot of drugs and alcohol being used. It was. It was a lot of steroids being used. Yep. And those different elements and enter those different elements and entities are a big part of the reason why we had so much of the over the top characters we had growing up. It's true. You know, the substance played a the, the substance played a a real big part in who they was in the light. Mm. You know. Yeah. Now, with with DMX, I, I remember listening to like uh, you know, Rick Flair, right? Woo! Exactly. Exactly, <laughs> you know? bro. And, and, yeah. and, a, and a lot of them woos came yeah. off of lines of cocaine. Mm. The, yeah. the, the what True. we loved, what we loved, True. what we loved so much about them came off of lines of cocaine and yeah illified alcohol and yeah a lot yeah. of wine usage yeah. and and things of that nature yeah with x getting uh manipulated into his drug usage mm. at 14 years old wow that's when he started uh well yeah that's when he said he first his his drugs his uh weed was laced Wow, his marijuana was like you know he smoked yeah. the primo. You know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah. Now, okay. if, if you're from the black community and you, well, actually not even from the black community, if you're just from the drug community, yeah, you know what a primo is. Yeah, you yeah. know a primo is pretty much chopped up crack, chopped up crack rocks, or maybe even powder, rolled inside the sweet. Mm. You know. Yeah. So, with knowing that, and. uh seeing his career mm. and uh just just knowing who he just knowing who he is and knowing mm. how he always had a prison was a presence with God and like before he got hooked you know he was really really like a humble nature person you know what I mean yeah like he you said really, like mild mannered yeah he was really really a humble nature mild mannered mm. and uh I don't want to say that it was meant for him to go down that road because mm. I'm, I'm not the type of person that's going to be like something bad happens to a person for a reason. Mm. But it happened to him and it happened yeah. to him before his music career. Mm. You know, and even though he was battling you know, his demons and what he called them was demons and things like that. Now I understand he lost his life due to drug overdose. Mm. But one thing I can say is that with the amount of people that he affected and the amount of people that he helped and the amount of people that he got past certain situations and times and hard times yeah. in their life and things of that nature. Yeah. I can honestly say, you know, his self or his affliction worked out for the greater good. Mm. Because he helped so many people, he touched them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's what I want people to understand about the situation. You know, uh, no matter what these people go through, you know, always, re always choose to focus on the positives that you get from the situation. Because yeah. I'm, I'm a big person when it comes to respect. Is that I, I will always make a choice to respect people. I agree. Just give them respect, no matter how I receive them. You know, no matter how I encounter them, I'm gonna always respect them. Yeah. You know, I agree. So, so with his career, man, and, and what he was going through, and um, I can't say that you know, what well, it's just like with any musician. It, it, it's like even talking about Lil Wayne, and Lil mm. Wayne, and Lil Wayne. Lewayne sat on the, the interview and told you, like, uh, some of my greatest years came attached to the lean cup. Yeah. So would you have the greatness of Lewayne without the lean? Mm, that's you know what way. I mean? Yeah. So I don't 
look at DMX and I don't think, man, DMX got an X on his career. He ain't going to be one of the greatest because he went out this way or whatever. I, I don't look at it. I just look at all things played and came together for the greater good of his career. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's how I'm gonna always look at it. I ain't going to look no, no, no other way. I'm not going to look down on it. I'm not going to be like, oh, man, you know, X could have been the best, but he did the duck. No, I'm not doing that. He did what he's supposed to do. He did, he did what he was supposed to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and that's yeah. that's my that's how I want to remember it. You know, that's yeah. how I want to, you know, I we can sit here and talk about all the classic verses and, and everything like that. But. I just, I just say it, it all worked out, man. He affected who all he affected. He helped get on who all he needed to help get on. He helped push and elevate some of these rappers that we still think are great today. That's you true. know, uh, he saved a lot of businesses. He saved a lot of record labels. And uh, yeah, you know, yeah, he did. When, when, he did. when it's all said and done, man, when it's all said and done, it's nothing bad I can say about that, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's nothing yeah, bad. I, I agree, and I, 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 I honestly wish that that we could have had them twenty more years. Yeah, two more records, classics. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, I wish we could have, but you know, uh, I, I said I typed a tweet, and I was like, look, uh, on his hashtag, I was like, I understand, uh. I understand if your time is up and you got an appointment on the other side. I understand that. You know, go rest. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Go yeah. rest. You yeah. tired? I get it. You yeah. know, what I'm saying? go see what the other side like. It, it's it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you 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 did enough. You did so much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But but if you if it's not your time. Come back harder than ever. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Back, get 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 that last run. Let, let's make it. Let's make it right to how you want to make it right. If whatever you want to make it right in your mind, Let, let's get it like that. You know. Yeah. So, uh, you know, occasionally, you know, he passed on. You know, all I can say is, man, R. P. D. M. X. Man. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I got a question for you, man. If you What's if up? you had to give me, I'm gonna go top five. You had to give me five mm -hmm. songs off the top that that. Crystallized DMX to you, man. What you got for me? Mm, mm, mm. Um, five songs off the top. Uh, get at me. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Rough Riders anthem. Got, got to be. Uh, slipping. That's a. Yeah, uh, that's a good one. uh, power's going down. Hmm. And then obviously, you know, uh, well, that's an underrated one, man. A lot of people yeah. forget about that one, bro. I was going down, Damn. yeah. And then obviously, you, you gotta, you gotta put, uh, you gotta put, uh, what these bees want for me, man. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that gotta be in there. That, that gotta be in there, man. Hey, shout out to JC because I know JC, JC rock with us, man. You know yeah. that, that that's man. He played that song so much, man. You, yeah. yeah. They gotta be in there, man. Uh, yeah, they that, gotta be that, in there. That, yeah, that has to be in there, man. You gotta be in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, him and Cisco did that, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I come feel, on, I feel, man. I feel like we got the best out of Cisco right there, too, man. You know, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I, I ain't, I ain't hear the the two the two times I really heard Cisco sing hard like that was yeah. what the bees want and his uh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a song, what a song called Cisco had? Uh, the, uh, the, 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 the thong one? Song. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He was putting his all yeah. in them songs, that, man. That and yeah. somebody sleeping in my bed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. He but, was uh, singing that one from his soul, brother. Come on, yeah. man. But, uh, he was sleep boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was definitely, yeah. you um, know, he definitely top five, yeah. bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's, he. he he got a lot of bangers, bro. He got he he got them. He got them, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and uh, did you watch the verses with him and Snoop? No, nah, man, I ain't watch it. But I, um, because I had to, I think it was at, at J. But they said it was classic. You it know, was, I might go ahead and put it up on YouTube and watch it, man. It was classic. It was classic, bro. But uh, mm. no, I can't. I, I gotta keep it a stack. No, keep it real. No, no knock on DMX. Yeah, but. But Snoop just had Snoop just had God in his pocket when it when it came to that verses, because 
a lot of people forgot how like you got to think about it back then on death row like they was making whole albums where it was no skips no you know what i'm saying it was making whole classics. albums yeah it was a lot of classics you know what i'm saying and everything like don't get me wrong everything x was playing was like oh yeah i'm oh oh yeah i'm, I'm like oh that nigga x going off but snoop would just come <laughs> back you like damn yeah, I forgot, yeah, I yeah. forgot Snoop had that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? Yeah, and, 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 yeah. But then yeah. you have to understand. You have to understand Snoop didn't have to play no song with Pop or no song with Drake. He's all Snoop bangers by itself. Oh, Snoop, yeah. yeah. But, and, and, that, and that's a testament to not only DMX uh, and all these other art. This That's a testament to how much work they put in and how much music they make. Yeah. You know, because yeah. you got to think about it. When their career is done, they have way more unreleased music the music yeah. that they ever dropped. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know I mean? speaking about that, and you know, the one that come to my mind the most is Pop. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I think he still got unreleased stuff to this day. And he, you know, he done been passed over 25 years ago. You know, oh, I think 25 years this year or whatever. But, exactly. You know, still got unreleased stuff, man. Still you got know? unreleased stuff, man. Like you say, you know, they, they about to grind, man. You know, I can't do nothing but respect that. You know? Can't do nothing but respect you know? that. Yeah. So. You know, but, uh, you know, speaking on that, like, um, you know, I might. I don't know if this is gonna be a little controversial or not, but maybe you maybe you ride with me or not. You know what I mean? But um, um, it it it. I'm gonna say it kind of um. It kind of irritates me, like, you know, let's just say you know we're going with DMS. We talking about him. He passed, mm -hmm. and then like a lot of people stream his old songs or whatever, mm -hmm. and then like he forgotten about the scene. Like you know, on to the next one. You know what I mean? Like. You, you know, I'm talking about like people in general. You know what mm -hmm. I mean. Most most of society. Okay, yeah, DMX passed. Then you know, let me you know, let me let me stream on Spotify for a little bit. You know, listen to his stuff, and then you know, for for lack of better word, we on to the next story. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, it just, I you know, I, I don't I don't really uh ride with that. You know what I mean? Because like I said, you know, granted, like DMX, you know, like I said, he 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 was a his music played a very big part in my life, you know, because like that's when I started loving music or whatever. But like, you know, man, um, I like going back in the, you know, going going back in the chronicles of things. Like, mm -hmm. I like re-listening to things or re-watching things that I've watched or what, whatever. Just to like, just to appreciate it. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. It just it just seems like a lot of people like 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 Kanye said in a uh, Big Brother man. Uh, people never get the flowers while they can still smell them. You know, I don't like the fact. And I granted this is you know life is a part of death, a death is a part of life. But people wait till somebody pass. Now you want to be like you, you want to give him his roses. Man, we should have said this or we should have said that. You know what I mean? But like, <laughs> but and this, I know this, that's what it is yeah. with life. But like that, re you know, that really um, it really irritates me, man. You know what well, I'm saying? But speaking, like, you know, speaking of that, speaking, of, speaking of that, speaking of that, the game, the game dropped the, the tweet. rapper. Yeah, the okay. rapper game. He dropped a tweet. He was like, okay. He was like, man, it's sad that niggas got to die to get love. Damn. If, if you ain't showing me my love while I'm here, don't don't give me none while I'm gone. Mm, I agree. But I don't agree. Okay. I don't agree. Okay. This is why I don't agree. When you in the game, mm. when you learn, okay, <clears throat> granted, most artists come in the game and they first maybe one or two albums they might have got screwed and they was learning the business. Yeah. That happens a lot. And when they learn the business, they know the business all way around. Yeah. And the thing about a business is you there to provide a service. True. You there to provide a service. So <clears throat> if you saying that, you must be addressing the people that you personally know. You, you like, you like, like, come on, like what game said, right? Yeah. Okay. With, with, with the, uh, yeah. Uh, just, yeah. uh, just the whole love. Show me my, give me my flowers while I'm here. Well, guess what? Yeah. If you personally don't know me, and I'm just a fan, what more flowers do you deserve from me than buying your stuff, keeping you relevant while you making relevant stuff? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. yeah. The, the reality of it is, is that, bro. 
long as you're doing stuff to be on top and producing top notch worthy stuff, you're yeah. going to be on top. The fans yeah. going to love you. Yeah. But when you having your downfalls of life, you having your stretches where you have a writer's block, you can't create or uh, maybe your group and fell apart and y'all not in unison no more. And, and y'all not just that well or machine and y'all not making music no more like y'all wanted to. And, and it's not the same vibe. Maybe when y'all when was together or maybe just your time on the top is done. Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. I get okay. it. I get yeah. it. I get yeah. it. I guess let, let me uh let me come at you another way because okay. you because you you right. I agree with that. I guess more personalize it because I agree. That's really where I'm coming at it. Like, yeah. if you know somebody personally, on a personal, you know, not 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 fans. Like, yeah. you know, people yeah. that's in your life, people that you see yeah. on the daily that yeah. you have a relationship yeah. with, or however, you know what I mean. Like, if 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 you know, like I told a story about my grandma. You know what I mean. Uh. When you know when she was when she was sick, you know, and I and uh I hate that it even got to that point, but you know circumstances out of my control, you know that's what happened. Exactly. But like when she, you know, when she was uh, you know, for lack of a better term, on her deathbed, you know what I mean. We talked and and uh you know I told her how I felt and 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 you know that's what it was. And and I'm not saying like I'm perfect or nothing, you know what I mean. But like I try to tell everybody, man, man, I got love for you. I love you. You my dog. I appreciate you. You know what I mean. Like and. You know, I don't because let's just say this like people in it's been people in my family that I never forget when, when my grand my grandfather died in uh 99 and then you know my grand my grandma died uh two years on, on my mom's side she died right. two years ago right and let's just say it was it was the same people that at both uh funerals was acting a fool you know what mm -hmm. I mean and and like like just doing the most you know mm -hmm. and, and these people was around you know i'm gonna just speak for my grand my grandma like they was around him mm -hmm. a lot of the years mm -hmm. you know and, and it was you know through the grapevine i heard it was a lot of drama and turmoil and mm -hmm. stress and strife you know what i mean so it's like i'm not saying every day gonna be peaches and and, and, and cotton balls and all, and all that and ice cream i'm just saying like instead of trying to bring stress to a situation or or you know drama you know like like you said let's 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 try to focus on the respect you know what yeah. i mean and or you know or even if you got to like distance yourself that's cool but like if you do speak you know what i'm saying to somebody try to speak words of affirmation to them you know what i mean try to be like man i love you you know what i'm saying i appreciate you i got you know i got your back or just just be there for somebody instead yeah. of like <clears throat> you know perpetuating drama you know because there's exactly. a lot of drama and, and you know what i mean and now after that when they, you know when he's you know when these people you're not gonna see these people no more. Now you want to act a fool. You know what I mean? Like I guess that's really what I'm getting at. Personal. So you know, well, yeah, that's you, where that's where I was coming from. Yeah, not the fans, because um, you're right. Right. Yeah. So like yeah, on the on the fanatic side, like we we really don't like we don't really know you personally because yeah, when you when your personal life get out there, what you're gonna do as a artist? You gonna look at the fans and like y'all don't personally know me. Y'all y'all yeah. don't know about my. So we know the connection. So that's true. It, it, it's it's the same cycle, you know. We, we we ride with you when you're on the top, when you're on the top, when you're not on the top no more. We still got some loyalness, you know, yeah. to you. But then at the, the end of the day, when you fizz out, we fizz out with you too, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's it's, how it's, I go. Until, until, you know, you pass on, and then we get in our memory bag, we get in our feelings, and we want to we want to jam you because yeah. you gone. It ain't no coming back, yeah. you know. That's that's how uh, I go. Now, as far as giving people uh their flowers on a personal level. I just tell people a lot of people have to figure out a way to get past their hurts. Mm. You know, that's yeah. why a lot of people don't get that's why a lot of people don't get their flowers. Yeah. A lot of a lot of True. people have to figure out how to get past their past hurts. How to how they get past how to get past their times of when they were, you know, a victim of certain things. Uh figure out how not to be trapped in your past life, you know, figure yeah. out how to move forward. And then on top That's of true. that, and then on top Very of that, true. when you understand that, uh, that person that you can always come to, that person that always give you a good encouraging word, that person yeah. that you can always lean on, that person that you can always get something from, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know, that person that you really need to give flowers to yeah. while they here, 
just understand that that person that you lean on so much is just human. They're not a machine. Yeah. You know, they're human too. And at the end of the day, while everybody and not just you get outside your mind that you're the only person that leans on them, get out mm -hmm. your mind that you're the only person that pours into them, mm -hmm. get out your mind that you're the only person that needs them. And knowing that there's a lot of people around them that's doing the same thing. Mm. So it's a lot of people drawing from them. Yeah. And it's yeah. not a lot of it's not a lot of people replenishing them. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's true. So when you uh when you understand that, I think your 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 microphone moved because it's like rubbing up against something. What about what about now? We good? Yeah you good now. Okay. I can hear like the rubbing up on your shirt. Uh, okay. And, and when you understand they're just human and, and they need that love and they maybe need to lean on somebody, yeah. you know, like, like get, get out, get out, out of your mind that you're the only person that need help, that you're the only person that's going through something, that you're the only person that's been through, you know, pain, struggles and strife and being mistreated. You know, like, like, like I told you a couple of episodes ago, treat people how you want your heart to be treated. You understand? Yes, sir. And, and when you know how you want your heart to be handled, live, live out how you want your heart to be handled with other people. Yeah. And and understand that you might not get that back. Understand you may be the person that everybody lean on, and everybody not going to replenish you. Okay. What? But once you understand that, you know. Once you understand that, it's easier to it's easier to grips with people not giving you your flowers. Yeah, you know it's yeah. easier to it's easier to grips that if you're that person that that everybody counts on, it's easier yeah. for you to move through life and not not uh, ever a day make it about yourself. Yeah, you know, but I do agree. If if you know, even if you don't know how to. Express yourself to a person. Just do mm. the best you can. Do what you can, yeah. Do, do what you can, and, and and I promise you, I promise you, if you don't know how to express yourself to a person and you want to give them their flowers, just go and try to have a conversation with them. Yeah. And, and when you do it, I, I promise you, that person will walk you through exactly what you're trying to express. So you're going to get it out. They, yeah. Because they, they're going to know how to handle that situation. That's why y'all connected for True. You know, so true. They, they're gonna know how to have that conversation with you. That it's gonna be easy for you to let it flow out what you want to tell them. Yeah. You know, but the pro a lot of the time is you got you have a lot of selfish people, bro. Yeah. You, know, you have yeah. a lot of you have a lot of me, 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 my, 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 woe is me, oh my. You know, and then like you said, when it, when it comes funeral time, they acting crazy because mm -hmm. you can't make it right now. Yeah. They're gone. Yeah. Time up. Time's up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your, your, your clock stopped ticking. And it's and it's nothing you can do. You know? And, and that's going to eat you alive. Why? Because reality mm -hmm. sets in. Reality sets in that you had 10, 15, 20 years yeah. to do right by people. And you just yeah. didn't do it. You we just didn't do it. it. Just, and, that, and trust me, man, I see that eats people alive. That eats people alive. Yeah, right. Knowing, knowing that they didn't get to rectify the situation before it was over, you know, you got to yeah. understand. Right. Death, death is not just about the person laying in the casket. It's about the dead person that's still living. Yeah. Ooh. You know. Ooh. Yeah. It, it's just not about the dead person laying in the casket. It's mm. about the dead person still living. Mm. You know, because now, yeah. now when you leave, you got to make sure. Ain't nobody out here hollering and screaming and didn't get to give you your flowers or nobody want to give you your flowers because you was a nuisance to everybody. You was a menace mm. to everybody. Yeah. You know what? Speaking of that tip, bro, I know a dude that had a funeral. Check your mic again. Okay. Check your mic again. Oh, still know, doing it? Yeah, it's still doing it. I know a dude who had a funeral, bro. And he was just so much of a menace to people. The only people that showed up 
was his mother, his father, and the and the, and the church service. That was it. Wow. And nobody came, bro. Damn. Nobody came. Wow. And and I never thought <laughs> I would never hear or see something like that. Wow. Bro, nobody came, bro. Damn, that's crazy. That's that's how much of people and, and, and it's sad wow. to know that it's sad to and, and then, you know what? It's sad to go see people's family and they say, Man, I'm glad he gone. You know what I mean? I'm glad. Damn, you know? that's cold blooded, bro. Wow. Yeah. yeah damn. It's, it's, it's like that, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But yeah. give people yeah, on, on that personal level. Yes. Yeah, man. I believe wow. it. Give give people their flower. I, I I understand. Like I said, I understand a lot of people have you know their own issues. They may be dealing with addictions. They may be dealing with stuff that they don't even really they don't they don't never see other people until they're in trouble and when they, and they need help. Mm. You know, and uh, yeah, you know, um, yeah. I, I'm I'm all for giving people their flowers while they're here. I'm all for uh, thanking people. I'm all for trying to do all I can. You know, uh, I'm all for trying to, you know, get people out of their element and, and show them around town, take them out to dinners and things of that nature while they still here. Because, yeah, uh, yeah like like I said, man, when, when we look at everybody, I, I, I don't think us as people take life serious because when you look at everybody, when you look at everybody in life, you got to understand that we only have each other for a certain time, bro. Yeah. That's it. Like you, my, you, my bro. Yeah, but I only, got, I only got you. Well, I only got you for a certain time. dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You only and got we me. don't even know how long it is. We don't know how long it is. We hope it's yeah. for many years. Yeah. You know, but we only got each other for a certain time. You yeah. only got everybody yeah. in your family for a certain time. I only yeah. got everybody in my family for a certain time. Yeah. You know? So, uh, yeah. Right. You know, right. love people, encourage people, uh, bless people, thank people, show people favor. You know, stop being so selfish. We live in a selfish world. We live in a selfish yeah. society. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stop being so selfish. You know? Yeah. 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 Think, think put about put yourself in somebody else's shoes. Yeah, put yourself in somebody else's shoes. Don't it, it's not all about us. It's not all about me. It's not all about nobody. It's not all about no one person, bro. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And yeah. uh Very pretty true. much, yeah. Very yeah. true. Yeah. Very true. Um, yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, um, man, that was that was you know, I wouldn't, you know, granted, I'm not gonna know. Who, who came to my funeral? Who did? Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, I mean? you but, uh, Wow, I mean, you know, if I did, I would, you know, I would want somebody other than my, you know, my parents to be there, man. That's wow, exactly, That's, bro. Woo, man, exactly, That's crazy, bro. Wow, you know, you know, um, man, you know, you know, we, man, bro, we almost on the hour mark that quick. You know what I mean? It seems yeah. like these things be flying by, bro. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah, when, yeah. When the conversation we do it, man, it's moving. Um, yeah. You know what? Let's let, let me let, let, let me jump into something real quick. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I was looking on. I was looking on my timeline, right? And you know, I know I've once heard. Again, once again, your time. What you mean, Twitter? Yeah, Stop, yeah, what's your yeah. Twitter again, my brother? My feed. My feed uh, at Messiah X Five. Y'all get at Messiah X Five at M E M E S S I H capital X Five. So a Messiah X Five, you know. Uh, yeah, that's me on Twitter. But uh, I was looking on the timeline, and uh, yeah, man, a, a girl. I mean, I want to call her a girl, a young woman, a young lady. Okay. She All she right. asked she asked a question. She say, "Y'all think we have multiple soulmates? What you think about that? Multiple soulmates? Wow. Yeah. Um. Wow. Um." You know, because the uh, the term you know the term soulmate is singular, so you know that that takes uh you know soulmates out of the question. I mean, um, do I think you know do I think you could vibe with with somebody on a whole other level? M you know, multiple people like like let's just say it was ten women out there that I vibe with on a whole yeah. other level. I I could buy that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I I don't know about soulmate though. I mean, like, I, I'm, I'm gonna just ride with just nah. I think it's just, it, you know, if that exists, it's only one out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. One L, uh, one E to my Adam. If you want to put put it like that, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Multiple soulmates. Wow, she uh, 
That that was new. What you think about that, brother? Did, well, see, did you reply uh, to it? Uh, yeah, I, I replied to it, but I kept it real short. Okay. <clears throat> So she said, do we have multiple soulmates? Well, this is the thing about, this is what most people think about when they think about soulmates. Okay. They they think about multiple people that they can have good chemistry with and being with and sleeping with. That's what they, that's what most people think soulmates is. So physical. No, it's, it's, it's mostly physical when people think some people think people think, because let's be honest, most people think of soulmates as somebody that I can, you know, potentially, you know, uh get married to and be with and lay down with you know okay yeah yeah, yeah. now <clears throat> my ideology on that my mindset on, on that <sighs> if you look at a dead body right okay right you look at a dead body the body's dead right mm. you can set that body on fire it's not gonna holler it's not gonna move it's gonna burn and it's gonna True. stand still. True. You can you can you can put extra bullets in there. It's not gonna do anything. Yeah. You can run it over. It's not gonna do anything. Yeah. What's that let me know? That lets me know that the body without a soul is absolutely nothing. Just a shell. Just a shell. The yeah. soul is the key to the body. Yeah. You yep. know. Now, with that being said, I tell people that the soul is colorless. Mm. The soul inside no, me is not a black soul. No race. It's no race. It's not a black soul. It's not a white soul. It's none of that. You know, okay. yeah, it's in a shell that it dwells in, mm. but it's not a black soul. Okay. You know, it, it, yeah. it, we we ain't finna leave. Our soul is not gonna leave that body and it's gonna be like, all right, all black souls to the left, all white souls to yeah. the right. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's, that's not true. happening. That's true. Yeah, it ain't going like that. Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah. it ain't gonna be like that. Yeah. Um uh, now, when you talk about multiple soulmates, I say, yeah, I said, I think we can have multiple soulmates, but we okay. don't have multiple flesh mates. Okay. Everybody always, everybody's in game to a soulmate is ending up having sex with them, being with them in a sexual way. Mm. No, I think we can have multiple soulmates, but I think we don't have multiple flesh mates. Okay. I'm going to tell you right now, even though I jumped out and I had a lot of sexual experience in my life, I don't I don't believe that it was meant for us to have all this sexual experience. Okay. okay. Unmarried. Unmarried. Yeah. I, I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Why? Because it's too okay. much evidence. It's too much evidence that's showing me when people just live in willy-nilly sexually, all the turmoil that come from it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, don't get it that's twisted. A, yeah, that's a real reckless lifestyle. It's a real, it's real reckless. And then on top of that, you know, a lot of people, you know, they, like I said, they always feel like they're too strong. They're strong enough. They can handle it or whatever like that. Mm. I understand that too. You know what I'm saying? People can say they defy the odds or beat the odds however they want to. But I mm. personally don't believe it's just meant for us to be quote unquote gaining experience until we get married. No, because like I told you once before with you and your, with you and your, uh, your virginity state, if yep. you find a virgin and you are a virgin, when y'all come together in between the sheets, there's nobody who can tell y'all that y'all was doing something wrong to each other because y'all all each other knows. So that wipes away all the sexual experience. The sexual yep. experience means nothing if y'all have no experience at all. Yeah. Who can tell y'all that y'all doing something wrong? Yeah, it's true. You feel me? It's true. So I don't believe all the sex that we are having on earth, unmarried as people. I don't think it's meant for that, but I let people have their own, you know, way with that. Yeah. That's not up for debate. You, you ain't you ain't for to get no debate out of me with that. So don't even try. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. Soulmate. Yes, I feel like we can have multiple soulmates. Okay. I feel like I feel like we have what eight billion plus people on this earth. Yeah, yeah. Now, out of eight billion some people, yes, I'm pretty sure. That's in a, in a in a loving way, in a relationship way, in a marriage way. I'm pretty sure I can make it easily work with at least 20 women out of these eight plus billion people on this earth. Mm. If what I choose to do what I got to do to make it work. Yeah, that's true. And they choose to do what they got to do to make it work. How do I know that? Why? Because even though I have a wife, my wife is not the only person on this earth that liked me in that manner. 
Yeah. So a lot of women that liked me, I could have made it work with. Just yeah. like a lot of men that liked my wife, she possibly could have made it work with. Yeah. If, if they chose to do what it has to do to make it work. Mm. You get what I I'm agree. saying? Yeah. Now, that's in a relationship way. Yeah, I think you have multiple multiple soulmates. You have multiple mm. people that want the same thing. But in friendship, I think you have multiple soulmates too. Okay, yeah. Like, like at the end of the yeah. day. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, me and you friends. Yeah. You, me and you homeboys, me and you pretty much brothers. Bros, yeah. You my soulmate. No doubt. Why? Okay. Because at the end of the day, in hindsight, bro, why we so close and why we so cool? Because we want the same things in life. Yeah, yeah, like-minded. Like-minded, you yeah. know? And it's my job to, one, encourage you mm. and, 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 be a, and be a constant reminder to you that you can get what you want. Yeah. And you can strive to get what you want and don't yeah. settle until you get what you want. Yeah. And on top of that, as your brother, as a soulmate to you, it's yeah. my job to make sure that what you got, when you got what you want and you got that wife, mm. that I'm going to be riding you as a brother and be like, don't mess that up, bro. Yeah. Because you yep. want it. Hold me accountable. Yep. I'm going to hold you accountable. You yep. know, because at the end of the day, I... Have your know, I want what's best for your whole your best interest at in, in everything, bro. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be on it. Like I said, we both believe in heaven and hell. Yeah. So I do not want to go on the other side, and 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 I'm sitting in heaven about to go through the gates, and I see my bro Rod going in the hell. I don't want that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not saying I'm not saying that I can make you live how I want you to live, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, I'm gonna be like. As your brother, I'm gonna be an angel on your shoulder and be like, bro, you sure you really want to do that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because the final end game is what? The final end game is getting our soul prepared for the other side. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I truly am in the way my brother's keeper. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? So yeah, yeah in, in that manner, I feel like we have multiple soulmates but we don't have multiple flesh mates i don't think all that sleeping around and stuff no i don't believe that like so when okay. people equate when people equate like uh the final stage of soulmates is always just laying down and being sexual with somebody no i don't believe mm -hmm. we have multiple flesh mates okay that's what I, I don't believe in that i don't i don't believe like i don't i don't believe in i don't believe in that i do believe like i said i do believe there's 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 a bunch of possible uh there's a bunch of possibilities right mm. but at the end of the day i don't believe it's like oh, since we all you know on that level in that manner I should, that was all of my soulmates i should go get them all and yeah yeah and try to <laughs> and try to co-wife yeah, 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 yeah. you yeah, know yeah 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 you yeah, work like that maybe yeah. go put solomon you know what i mean like no, not, no, it, no, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not to me I don't, I don't think it's gonna i don't think it's gonna happen yeah and, yeah yeah all yeah. i just tell people is that the person that you end up with, that's not the only person that you could have been with. That's all that's all it is. That's true. That's all that's it true. is. Especially with the free will to choose, you know. That's yeah. that's it. Right. That's 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 all I'm saying. So it's like right. Right. All right. <clears throat> Let me knock out another one. Okay. She's a Twitter user. I ain't gonna put a Twitter uh, ad out here, but I'm just all gonna right. use a question. She say, Are you willing? Are you willing to be uncomfortable? So someone else can be comfortable. Oh, that's an easy one. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. I've done it. You know what I mean? To be uncomfortable. So some willing, someone else is willing to be comfortable. Yeah. So like uh, explain that. Explain like your experience on that. Um I say um with the um with you know, with the girl I told you about that uh we was at IHOP together, this girl, you know what I mean? Um uh because you know that was the one that had the biggest impact on me. Yeah. So, um, you know, it was a, you know, it was a lot of instances where I would put her um, wants or let's just say needs or feelings in front of mine. You know, so exactly. Yeah. You know, um, you know, what's what we're looking for? Uh, you know, when you compromise or yeah. like, you know, uh, you know, if if you can, I'm not saying be a doormat, 
because I'm, you know, that's not, I'm not built like that. But like, yeah. you know, um, if you know, if if the, if the person you with, you know, or want to be with or whatever, you know, if they, you know, if they want something that's reasonable, and you know, you you have to make a sacrifice to do it. Or let's just say you got to work, let's say a couple of extra hours at work or something like that to get this person that something that they really want for their birthday or, or just to get it or whatever. You know what I mean? Then yeah, yeah, I'm I'm definitely. I would be definitely willing to do that. It's not just monetarily. You know what I mean? Like, you know, if, if your if your partner, you know, wants a back rub or something like that, you know, or flowers or just somebody listen to them. You know what I mean? Because like a lot of a lot of people, you know, got a lot to say. You know, and and and, and you know they want somebody to listen to them. You know, yeah. that's just you know. So you know, in my opinion, I I like to uh, you know I could be doing other things or whatever, but like. She, if somebody come to me, man, I need, I need, I need to talk to you, or you know, okay, you know, it's pressing. Let's, you know, what you, what you got? I'm here. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I can do it, yeah. you know, I'm not saying like put your life on hold for anybody, but you know, if yeah. you, if you, if you can possibly do it, you know, that, I, that's what I believe. Uh, relationships are made up of. You know what I mean? Sacrifice. You know, mm-hmm. two ways though, not just me. You know what I mean? Both. You know. She she does for me and I do for her. You know what I mean? I, I believe that's how uh you know that that that's how healthy relationships are. That you know the ones that last till you die. You know what I mean? The ones you're supposed to be in. So yeah, like me personally, oh yeah, yeah, I can I can easily see myself doing that. And anybody that knows me, I, I believe they advice for me on that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, how you see that, brother? Oh, uh, as far as being uncomfortable, so someone else can be comfortable. <sighs> Well, I, I just think it, it all boils down to what a person trying to what what's what this person so called true so called calls being comfortable. Okay, yeah, you know, fair enough. You know, uh, because if her um, if me being uncomfortable mm-hmm. means that she can't make up her mind between me and oh boy, I ain't willing to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm with you. Her, her comfortability is always keeping the ace in the pocket because she don't know or she insecure about giving her all, putting her eggs in one basket and get hurt. Yeah, yeah. Nah, we, we, we can't do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm with that. Yeah. It, it, it depends on what the what her what her ideal of comfortable is. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, Fair enough. I, I get it. Like with, with me being in marriage, yeah. You, you got to always be uncomfortable. Why? Because the reality is, bro. Every title that we are, we don't we don't want to be every day. Yeah, twenty four seven. You don't want to be it every day. There, there mm-hmm. are some days that parents don't want to be a parent. Yeah, that's just facts. Yeah, there's some days that married people don't want to be married people. That's yeah. just facts. Yeah. You know, that that there's some day there's some days you just don't. And at the end of the day, it's not that it's not that the love is not there. You know, every day we have our selfish times to where yeah. we we think about what our life was like before all this happened. Yeah. You yeah. know, that's human nature. It, it, it's human nature. Yeah. So, yeah, it all depends on what, like I said, when you look at the other person, what's their ideal of what they have to do for me to what I got to be uncomfortable with that so called making you comfortable. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? Feel that. Yeah. At, at the end of the day, if if she got a drug addiction, I, I, you think I'm just supposed to sit up here and just yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 just yeah, let yeah. you get high as a kite just to be with you? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, nah, yeah. I, I yeah we ain't doing that. Yeah, you know, you know like yeah. we're, we're, we're not like so. It, it some people, some people's uh, comfortability is uh, you know, very, very like delusional. Yeah, you know? I, so I think you're saying as long as long as. The other person's comfort isn't disrespecting me or making yeah, me, putting myself yeah. in an uncompromising position, you know, it, like as long as it's not disrespectful. Why am I here looking like a clown or something like that? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree, bro. Yeah, or yeah. or uh, not even or not even that. Uh, uh, just in addition to that, if if um dealing with the in laws. Mm. You know, if you don't want to speak up on my behalf, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to address that. Yeah. 
You know, yeah. because I want, because I want you to address that in me if you see that. Yeah. You know? yeah. Or, or, yeah. Or, just, or just dealing with your family. Every time I come around your family, I feel at ease because I know yeah. that we, I know that we throwing slugs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Gonna, it's gonna come a time that I'm gonna be looking at you like, bro, I'm not coming around. And yeah, that, yeah, you supposed to hold me down. Yeah, if that's gonna make a stain on us, I'm not for to sit around and be uncomfortable knowing that I'm getting slugs thrown at me just to yeah. make you happy. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you know yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, we we yeah, not. I'm not gonna put you through that. Yeah. Yeah. You know. True. Very true. So, Very true. I, I tell people when, when it comes to looking at uh, a dynamic like that, first of all, it depends on how much time you put in the relationship, obviously, because if y'all already made it to the stage of marriage, it's, it's going to be hard for you to walk away from anything when you're married. It's, it's going to be hard yeah. for you to walk away from anything. Yeah. So uh, if it's something that's early on in a relationship that you can walk away from, you might, you might have to walk. You might got to look past the looks. You might gotta look yeah. past the, the outer shell. You yeah. might got you might gotta look past the nice arms and the six pack and the big booty and the pretty smile. You might gotta look past that and like you said, your peace at mm. the end of the day. If if you know if this is something that you ain't got no peace with, you probably don't need to beat up. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's just facts. Yeah. If it's ruining if it's ruining your peace, if yeah. it, now I, I like I said. If you're in a state of marriage, if you're like in that covenant, I'm not, I'm never going to tell nobody to leave that covenant. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. uh, this is like, like, like I said, unless your life is in danger. You know, I tell you to separate all day, you know, but I'm not telling nobody to leave no covenant because, you know, y'all have some, some communication issues. I'm not going to mm. tell you to, to leave behind that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. got yeah. to go figure out how to work that out. Work it out, yeah. So yeah, yeah it, it, it all depends on what that comfortability and how it how is it making me uncomfortable. That's what it yeah. makes. That's what it all boils. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I'm with that. I'm with okay. that, brother. Yeah. Let's walk into something else. Okay. There was a video on social media. There was a young lady. She went to a college. Obviously, I think it was a big college. I think it was a PWI college. Okay. You know? So. She said she was going to do her homework. She went to go sit out pretty much in like the foyer area. Okay. You know, like the little outside area, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, either that or in a ca cafeteria. Don't get me wrong. Okay. So she said she's seen this guy. Black brother. She was a black sister. Okay. I ain't gonna matter what. By the way, she was a young, beautiful sister too. Okay, okay. So she said she seen this guy, and you know he was a black guy. He looked like an athlete, athletic, okay. build, athletic looking, and she she thought he was, she thought he was good looking. Okay. So as she as he passed by, she pretty much like, well, he didn't pay me no mind. Like he didn't pay me no mind. Like he, I ain't like. She pretty much didn't get a look or nothing. Mm. And so she was like. I'm pretty much tired as a black woman of thinking if black men are interested in black women. Wow. Okay. She says she said she's tired of of every time she see a black man, especially a one that, especially ones that are good looking. She's tired of wondering, do they even like sisters? Mm. Do they even want to date black women? Because majority of the ones, I guess I'm pretty much, I guess majority of the ones she's seen and the majority of experiences mm. that she's been around or, or seen other people's experiences, the brothers have been dating outside the race. Yeah. Mm. With that being said, at the end of the day, I feel like she projected on that issue because that was just one man mm -hmm. yeah. and two she didn't address that man. She didn't stop that man. She didn't get up and start a conversation with her. And he mm. didn't tell her, nah, I don't like black women. Yeah. Yeah. Now, she would have engaged in a conversation with him and he would have told her, I don't like black women. Then she she could have been like, Man, this is what happened to me. And the brother yeah. don't like sisters. Yeah. It's valid. It's valid then because you heard the truth. That's factual. No, it's facts. Yeah. Because you yeah. heard it from all. But you assumed. You assume, yeah. You assume. Yeah. You, yeah. 
you 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 you, you, you was interested in him. He caught your attention, but the fear of finding out that if he didn't like black women or that he possibly had a girlfriend that was of another race. Yeah. Not, not that he had a girlfriend that was black because he could have very well had a one, another woman that that's, was black. Yeah, that's possible. But you automatically assumed and jumped that he was dating somebody outside the race. Yeah. What would you tell women who think like that? Uh, you actually hit a lot of good points. Um, I w let's just say to this, you know, to this particular you, because you said she's a uh, she's an attractive woman. So mm -hmm. I would challenge this person. Well, can I see your? Let me see your DMs real quick. You know what I mean? How many? And and can we see how many black brothers are hitting you up in your DMs? I would. I'm not gonna say guarantee because nothing is a guarantee. I would bet money that she had quite a bit of brothers in the DMs. If she, you know, if she's public and anybody can reach out to her or whatever. So it's like. You know, um, you can't, like you said, you can't base every man off, you know, one, uh, uh, one concept, you know, one, yeah. one episode of contact with, with, yeah. with, with, with one guy, you yeah. know, cause like, like you, you're married to a black woman. I'm talking to yeah. you, you know, yeah. Messiah boss, you married to a black woman, you know, um, you know, I, I, I know quite a few brothers that's married, married to, to black, black women. women, you know yeah. what I mean? So and I know some brothers that's married outside the race. It, it, it you know, like cause cause like you said, um, I believe earlier you said that uh, you know, when when you vibe with somebody, your soul does you know, the black souls ain't gonna go over here that's in the black shell over there, over there. We all human race, so you know, we all like what we like, you know what I mean? So like um I you know, I, I definitely agree with you that you can't make a generalization or a sweeping statement about a whole race or whoever. Like, and that's black women too. Like I can't say because I ran into, you know, a, an aggressive black woman with attitude that all of them like that. No, that's not fair. You know what yeah. I mean? Cause that, that's not, that's not accurate. You know, you I know. Yeah, you can't indict the whole you know, system. <laughs> I know. Yeah, man. I, I mean, I ain't trying to, bro. I'm good on that. You know what I yeah. mean? But, uh, uh, you know, like I say, man, I, I know, I know some, you know, some ones that's, uh, you know, that's that's aggressive or you know uh a handful let's say it like that and i know some you know uh, uh on the other side of the spectrum too some you know sweet nurturing all that you know and 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 like you can't really uh base somebody off one interaction anyway because right. you know like you said maybe this you know maybe this dude was going to go meet his girl or something like that maybe you know you don't know what was going on maybe he just didn't even notice you or you know you don't you like you don't know what that person was going through at that moment, you know, so you can't just, you know, you can't just say the brother don't like sisters, you know what I mean? Like, I honestly believe that most brothers would prefer a sister, to be honest with you, you know what I mean? Because, like, I can just speak for me personally, you know, black, you know, black women at the top of the list for me, brother, you know what I mean? If, uh, you know, but you don't know who you're going to run into and, and meet and vibe with, though, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I just don't like, you know, putting everybody in one, lumping everybody in one basket. You know, yeah. come on now. You know, we, yeah. we, we, you know, we can do better than that, you know? Yeah. You know, but I, I bet you she gets a whole lot of attention, though. I bet you. I'm going to stand by that one, brother. You know what I think it was? I think it was just the fact that it was, see, see, the problem is they don't ever pay attention to the ones that they're not interested in. That like, yeah. you see what I'm saying? Which, which a lot of people do, like which a lot of women yeah, do. You true. know, a, a lot of women they're they're not paying attention to the ones, yeah, that they're not interested in. They don't that they don't think they look good. Yeah, he they like, don't exist. Yeah, yeah, he like you. He willing to treat you right, but guess what? Mm -hmm. You're not physically interested in him. Yeah, or, or he yeah. doesn't meet he doesn't meet that requirement that you got so in your head that you're sticking to. Yeah, so he yeah. don't meet that requirement. So guess what? <laughs> you cut your chances a little down, yeah. you know. Yeah, but I would yeah, yeah. I would tell sisters like this. I would tell sisters like this, uh, who feel like they're not uh, the desire of a black man's eye. Mm. <sighs> sisters, if that's how you feel, if that fight hit your mic, if that's how you feel. If you feel like black men are not checking you out, or if you feel like 
you're not getting that that um that attention from black men you know and obviously you only want who you're attracted to yeah so if you know it's somebody that you're attracted to it's simple you gotta go find out the truth and be happy and just be happy that you know the truth yeah, yeah. And, and, and if the truth proves you right that they are a person that fits the description that you already had a preconceived notion of okay guess what that means that's one person who's not lying to you to mm. get your draws mm. you understand yeah that's one man who's not lying to you to get to get under your sheets yeah at least you know that yeah. truth yeah at least you know that truth yeah what happens is when 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 they said the truth hurts people thought mm. it was a joke mm. people thought it was a joke yeah they do you you can't run from the truth yeah you can't run from the truth yeah now we're not in traditional times. I understand there's a lot of women, there's a high percentage of women who still feel like, you know, men should approach the woman, ask the woman out, you know, let her bat her eyes and smile, smirkle and flirt black and then give them the okay. Mm. It's not happening that way no more. Mm. In, a, in a lot of cases, it's not happening. Yeah. yeah. Some of you women got to come out of your shell and investigate what you what you're interested in mm. you got to go see ladies you got to investigate what you want in your life yeah investigate what you want in your life because it when you accept it in your life whatever comes with that then you can take accountability for it because it's then it falls on you that either you moved premature and you didn't investigate it long enough yeah or you okay with what turned you you okay with what with how things turned out and yeah. you take accountability for your actions that you put forward from that yeah that's it yeah go investigate what you want go yeah. go investigate what you want to pursue go investigate what you're interested in yeah you know if you see a man and you think he he don't like sisters because you know they, they say it's a look to that now it's a look you, to it yeah they they like oh you could tell he like white girls you know, oh, wow. it's, okay. it's, it's, it's a look. Okay, that's a new one. You know, so at the end of the day, man, like, pretty as simple as this, you won't know the truth until you ask. Yeah. You know, and then on top of that, you just gotta make sure that it's the truth. So you gotta give patience. It's perfect, perfect time to work. Yeah. To see yeah. if what they're speaking is the truth. Yeah. So that means you can't move prematurely. Yeah. This yeah. is this is what yeah. this is what happens when you put yourself out there to get to know people. You yeah. gotta give it, you gotta give it time yeah. to see what manifests yeah. in character and behavior and see the company that they keep yeah. before you give yourself to them physically. It's true. Because you don't want to be standing in front of the mirror like, oh, another failure that I left between my legs. Yeah. You, you don't want to keep doing that. And then, because because you don't want to keep doing that, and then stand in front of the mirror and trying to fool yourself to make yourself believe that you're okay with what happened. Mm. Because I'm telling you, women, you don't lay down and get up the same. Mm. You don't. Mm. You don't lay down and get up the same. Mm. I don't care how much you try to normalize it in your head that you're liberated. You don't lay mm. down and get up the same. Mm. Especially when it, especially when the outcome. It's not the outcome that you want. See, it's easy to lay down and feel good about it when it's the outcome that you want. Mm. But when it's the outcome that you don't want, you don't lay down and get up the same. Mm. You don't. That's just facts. Mm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, wow. but I will say, but I will say this, like I said last time. Brothers, I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all. If you know that a black woman is not what you want to date, if you know that you don't, if you already know that you're not even planning on settling down with a black woman, don't entertain no black woman, bro. Because you know what happened when 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 you giving them false 
when you giving them false hope and and you only there for the six and then when you rip a heart out and then you throw it back in their face and say well you got to be accountable for what you you let me in yeah bro but you know you never really even wanted to be there like that yeah so yeah. you know what you're doing bro you're, you're, you're making it harder and you messing it up for the brother who really want to be there who, yeah yeah that's what you're doing you're right you know so at least if you know you don't want that beautiful black woman don't mess up don't torture her don't mess up her heart yeah for the brother that really want to be there yeah for the next man at, 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 at least man to man look out for your brother Mm. And, and and don't make it hard on him because mm. the reality is we don't know how much a healing process is when it comes to people getting their heart broke we don't know that yeah. everybody don't heal it's, it's, it's not a oh she gets her heart broke in three weeks she'll be all right no it don't yeah. work like that. yeah yeah it don't work like that it's true it don't yeah so if you know you don't want to be with our sisters don't even entertain them, bro. Yeah, I agree. Don't entertain them. Don't lead them on. I agree. And the same thing with black women. If you know you don't want brothers, don't entertain them. Don't lead them on. Don't make yeah. them your food guy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 just play with their heart and talk with their emotions and mess it yeah. up sister, and mess it up for the yeah. sister that really want to be there. That's true. That's true too. At least look out for your fellow sister and think, damn, I don't want to mess it up for my next sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you don't know, because you you don't know how long that man gonna carry that. She ain't nothing. Mm. How long? How long it's gonna take that man to possibly get over that that stage of projecting that all women are like this? Yeah. Yep. And, and, it, and you yeah. knowing and you knowing how most dudes are. Most dudes they get into that one situation and it be it be forever before they get over. Yeah, they, they, they'll be forever after that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it goes back to what you said earlier, man. Uh, most people are self-absorbed and selfish, and only see yeah. things from they from what they want. Self-serving, yeah. like you said, uh, I believe last episode. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You you right? We got to come out of that. You yeah. know? And it's not just you know. Of course, me and you black, but like you know, that's you know, that's that's every color, every nationality, every every human. You know, y'all. You know, think about the next person. You know yeah. what I mean? Try to do that, you know? And if we do that, maybe this world would be a better place, my brother. Yeah. So you know? if, if, if you're a person that's into interracial dating and not saying if you're a person that, okay, you like to date, you you love women. So yeah. if, if the black woman is beautiful and you're attracted to her, you want her. If the white woman is beautiful, you, you want, I'm not saying, I'm not talking to you. You, you, you just like women, you playboy action right now. Mm. But I'm talking about for the ones who have that old screwed up mindset that, mm. yeah, I, I smash a black woman, but I ain't gonna never be with her. Nah, bro, just, just leave them alone, bro. Leave them alone, just, yeah. Leave them alone. They, they don't need no more damage than what they already are. Just leave them alone. Don't mess it up for yeah. the, don't mess it up for the next brother because the yeah. next brother already got enough of work that he got to put he got he, he got enough construction that he got to do when he get there. Yeah. That's true. You know what I'm saying? That's true. And, and I know it's gonna be hard for some of you brothers to do because you know it, it's all about the opportunity of some pussy. Mm. You know I get it. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all. You know I ain't holier than thou. Mm. You know. Yeah. At the end of the day, I know what it is. Yeah. Well, come on, bro. As a, as a brother to a brother, man, don't 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 come on, bro. Don't don't damage don't damage the woman. Yeah. No more than what yeah. she is. You know. Yeah. And then on top of that, women, women. At the end of the day, yes. If that man coming up with game, it's still up to you to open your legs. Yeah. It is. You got to be a little True. bit more patience. Got to do a little bit more investigation. Yeah. You gotta yep. do a little more investigation. Yep. You, you gotta hold yourself back a little bit longer. You know. You gotta. Very you gotta. True. You gotta. Uh. Now nah, you can't have me right now. I, mm. I need. To, I need to see. I need to see yep. some things. I need to see if some things gonna manifest first. Yep. Yep. That's facts. Yeah. 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 Right. 
So before we close it out, man, I got one more. Okay. It's kind of along the same lines, bro. All right. It's kind of along the same lines. Oh, uh, I think your mic's still swinging, bro. I can hear it. it yeah. Like it's like it's rubbing up against your shirt or something because it's like you can hear it rubbing up. Okay. All right. This this the last of what I got on the topics. Okay. All right. This lady says, I feel like more black women need to be comfortable with dating outside their race if they're looking to be financially taken care of. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's a whole different spin on dating outside your race. Because she's saying, she's saying if they want to be financially taken care of, which she pretty much insinuating that we don't make enough money outside yeah. of our outside of our athletes and entertainers, we yeah. as black men don't make enough money. Wow. Um what, what do you think about that? I mean, that's uh you know, I you, you know what's funny, bro, about social media and um you know Twitter and all that stuff, it, it really people really show who they really are, you know. So that you know, even if let let's just say Big fella bless bless us abundantly, which I believe he will. And yeah. I had, let's just say I had a billion dollars in the account. I still would stay stay clear from that woman because it seemed like all she worried about is the money. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, I mean, you know, like I say, it, it depends on how much she's looking for or whatever. You know, it's uh I mean, look, I'm not minimalizing money. You know, of course we need money to live, and you know, um Bob is safe a man don't work, he shouldn't eat. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? But, uh, you know, I mean, but damn, you know, don't don't shit on the man that's making, let's just say the man making 75000 you know, but he's good with money and he's investing and all that, you know, and, and you know, like like that's the man you should be with, but you, you know, you, you chase after the dude making, like you say, an athlete or a baller, you know, and then they, you know, you get ran through, let's just keep it real, you know, and then, uh, uh, you know, then all black man ain't shit. You know that, like you see that happen a lot. So yeah, you, I mean, if you just base something solely on money, yeah, I can't ride with that, bro. You know, you know, uh, you know, you 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 probably passed over a lot of great brothers that wanted you, you know, but they, you know, in their station of life, they just don't make enough money. I I I just think that this woman is very uh is uh you know she's she's cutting up potential pool of suitors down drastically you know because it's only what five to ten percent of men make over what a hundred thousand a year in the u.s or something like that it ain't mm -hmm. that many of them you know what i mean many. so and and, 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 that, trust and that's, me, she, all, that's a combination of all races yeah and trust me she's not the only one looking for these brothers you know for these for these for these dudes so yeah you know uh you know, I would, you know, I would say be careful for that, you know, and, and like, you know, looking at it from like, let's just say a dude's point of view, you know, um, you shouldn't just look for the, you know, for the, for the 36, 24, 36 or whatever the measurements is, you know, exactly, for the yeah. perfect, you know, you, yeah, you, you, look for them you curves, know, huh? yeah, you know, I mean, you know, I, you know, I, I think it's more than just a way a woman looks, you know, yeah. substance, you know, it, yeah. we, we as men shouldn't just be based to how much money we make. You know, granted, like I say, you know, man, don't work. You shouldn't eat. I, like, you know, all of that is is true. You know what I mean? But uh, you should, you know, you should look more than how much money a man make. You know what I mean? That's what I, you know, in, yeah. in my opinion. But uh, you know, you know, I hope she uh, you know, found what she looking for my brother. You know, yeah, I hope so. Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to what she said, and I'm gonna I'm gonna branch off on that. All she right. says. She, she she keyed in on she says if you're looking to be financially taken care of now <clears throat> she kept going she says as it stands black women on average out earn black men mm. so naturally who's going to be the breadwinner she says I know people are going to fight me but black men are broke out here so dating wow. up as a black woman is rough. She says, all I'm saying is keep an open mind and explore your options. If you want to be taken care of financially. Wow. So 
she's pretty much talking to women who want men to pay all the bills. Yeah. Pay, pay, pay the not just all the bills, but pay the fee everywhere. Yeah. You know, they, they want men to pay all the bills at home. They want men to pay for all the vacations. They 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 want to be just might as well say a trophy wife or a trophy girlfriend just along mm. for the ride. Mm. And he got it. In which, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Everybody always saying that's a white man's dream. And everybody a always saying, no, or just or just or pretty much how the financial structure is in America. Everybody always want to say that like that's a white man's dream. And then okay. I, even, I even heard a woman say, why black man want white a white man's dream? Okay. Okay. So I say like, you know, being financially in a good space to be able to take care of your family with no problem. That's a white person's space that black people shouldn't want. Wow. Yeah. It makes no sense. Yeah. No. At the, at the end of the day, I don't know a man. Now, I know a lot of men who deal with the 50-50 talk, but I don't know a lot of men who don't want to make a lot of money mm -hmm. and just enjoy their, their wife or their girlfriend. Yeah. You know, yeah. don't worry about it. The money is already made. Maybe I just want you to look pretty. I just want you to take care of yourself. And I just want to let's go have fun. Let's go enjoy mm -hmm. life. Yeah, I don't. I don't know no man who don't want that. If we all yeah. can, if we all can have that our way, yeah, we would all want that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it's Michael again. Oh, if my bad. All, if we can all have that, we like. If we can get it, like we will want that. Who don't? Who don't want that? Would Would you want? Would you want to be able to be like? Oh yeah, I'm making one point five a mil. After yeah. and oh yeah, baby, you ain't gotta do nothing, baby. Just gotta just chill and and we gonna we gonna enjoy yeah. ourselves. Wow. Yeah. What man don't want naturally? That? Yeah. Naturally, every man gonna want that. But this is the problem. <clears throat> when it comes to, like you said, when, when when it comes to scriptures, like a man don't work, he don't eat. A man supposed to be a provider. Yes, it says the scripture says a man who don't provide for his own is less than an infidel. Mm. But this is the problem. Providing doesn't mean he has everything mm. to cover everything. Mm. He doesn't he has everything to cover everything. Because mm. if you look at teamwork, if, if if you look if you look at if you look at the concept of a team or a family. Mm. Everybody provides a different thing for the family. Mm. You get what I'm saying? That's true. And if you look at life, like when you look at something like a man don't work, he don't eat. Mm. That doesn't necessarily mean have a job. Mm. That doesn't necessarily mean have a job. Mm. You know, because what if you're required to do something in life that takes you away from your job? So, uh, so he shouldn't eat because of certain circumstances now, because he can't keep up a job and maybe take care of uh maybe take care of his mom, mm. you know, or yeah, he can't he can't keep a job and or uh, maybe he has to stay home and take care of the kids during this pandemic because and his wife is the one's working because she's the one who has a degree, so he shouldn't eat, mm. but. That's, that's the thing. They don't see things. They don't understand this whole provision thing. If a yeah. man's staying home with his kids, that's work. Because yeah. when a woman stays home with, with her kids, they always like to say that's a full-time job. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It's work. True. And she yeah. eats. She eats. You know? Yeah. Two, when it comes to this whole providing thing. Okay. Providing People have to get out of the mind state that providing is all about money. We we live in this illusion, illusionistic world that where okay. it's a man is nothing if it's it's not about his if he don't got no money he's nothing. Mm. If he ain't you know if if he's only making fifty thousand or less he ain't worth nothing. Mm. You know like it's not all about money. Yes, we need money to live. We need money to operate on earth. But at the end of the day. 
if y'all want to go scriptural principles, tell me one scripture in the whole holy scripture book where it says a man, every man on planet Earth will out earn every woman on planet Earth. Mm. It never says that. Yeah, I don't see that. So in the scriptures, they have women that were queens. They have women that were politicians. They had women that were judges throughout the scriptures. Yeah. So what they let you know in the world, women could be bosses. Yeah. Women can have high earning positions. Yeah. And some of them gonna high, gonna earn higher than men. Mm. Now this is the this is the this is the the thing of it. Okay. For all you women who are top earners, the reality is. Are the men that are top earners, do they want you back? Mm. You understand? Do they want that's you the back? That's the question. Yeah. That's, that's the question. Mm. Why? Most of the men who making all that money, what do they want? They want a woman who's at their disposal mm. when he wants her, when he needs her. He don't want a woman that's, oh yeah, I'm, I'm the plane going to be in later on tonight at nine. No, I want you at the house already. Mm. Yeah. Not not saying, not saying you're not attractive. Yeah. I make all the money to have the life that I want. And the woman that I want is already at home. Mm. Just getting off the exercise machine mm. with dinner cooking. Mm. Finna take a shower. And as soon as I get there and get out the shower, we're gonna eat and she's gonna be ready to sex me up with no problem. Mm. Yeah, that's when a cold hard truth. But when you're chasing a career, which I don't want, I don't want women to throw their careers to the side. See, what women don't understand is that when they fought to get out the house and when they fought to make money, which I'm cool for a lot, I'm, 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 I'm a lot of the things that feminism did, like feminist, the feminist movement did. Mm. I don't have nothing wrong with that, man, because mm. it helped women a lot. Yeah, it did. It, it, it helped women get into a better position. And yeah. trust me, I'm all for that. You yeah. have to be all for that because you got women in your family. You yeah. know. But at the end of the day, when it comes to chasing this money, they see the ugly side of chasing a bag that a man always knew about. Mm. You should this you gotta understand. There's an ugly side to chasing a bag. It is. That's the ugliest side of the bag. Yeah. You gotta find a woman who's gonna deal with the schedule that you that you work. You gotta find a woman that's gonna be cool dealing with the lack of time that you spend with her. You gotta you gotta you gotta find a woman who's gonna be cool with you being in that in that area of being wanted by other women. You know, that's why so many men can't handle women who got a lot of money. Why? Because if she has more money than them, they become insecure. Mm. Because now she's around dick and more money. Yeah. She's around dick and bigger pockets. Yeah. So guess what they think? Because women are so geared to shoot for better, shoot yeah. for more. Brothers get insecure and they can't handle that. Mm. And Sometimes a lot of the insecurity comes from they don't think they're deserving now. Mm. Why? Because in the back of our mind, we all want to put our wife on the yacht. We all want to put our girl yeah. on the yacht. We all yeah. want to put her in the five-star hotels. We all want to take her to different countries with our passports and get the stamps. We all yeah. want to take her throughout the malls. We all want to, everything that we see in these cinematic movies, and, and that's what we want to do. With our women, yeah. yeah. No, let's be honest. Nobody wants to be in a relationship, and you can't even leave your city, yeah, because you don't have the money. Yeah, you can't go on a vacation like you want to because you don't have the money. Yeah, it's true. You can't live a life that you because you can't have them because you don't have the money. Yeah. So yes, if a woman wants to get taken care of. Find somebody who can take care of you. Find somebody who can pay the whole bill. But for you women 
who can't or so-called feel like you can't deal with a man because he makes less than you or you make two or three times more than him. You can't be with him. Mm. I'm going to tell you a story, bro. Mm. And then we're going to end on this. Okay. Because I don't want to get too deep into you know my explanation. I'm going to make people wait for more of it on another part. Yeah, that's another one. Yeah. Yeah. We was at my son's football game, right? All right. It's ninth grade football. And one of his teammates was like, hey, uh, can I get a ride home to my son? Mm-hmm. And my son was like, yeah, let me ask my let me ask my dad and my mom's. You know, obviously us, you know, because it's already like 8.30 going on 9, you know. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. We t- we're going to take you home. Now, mm-hmm. the neighborhood that I live in is a pretty nice neighborhood. Okay. It's not bad. It's, it's a nice neighborhood, you know. So when we pull up to drop this little boy off, and when we turn into this neighborhood, I'm thinking like, okay, you know, it's a nice neighborhood. Maybe we got to drive through this neighborhood to get to the neighborhood he really live in. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he live in that neighborhood. Yeah. He live in a really nice neighborhood. Okay. So we pull up to the crib, and I'm like, oh, man, this big three-story crib, and, mm. you know, three Benzes and two Beamers and vans mm-hmm. and trucks. And I said, okay, y'all, y'all doing good, boy. Y'all doing straight. Yeah, stacking that paper. Didn't say anything. Mm. Come next week, the same kid was like, can I get a ride home? Yeah, man, come on. Drop him off again. I said, you know what? If he asks one more time, I'm going to really have a conversation with him. Yeah. So the kid asked again, the third week in a row. Third week in a row. Hey, can I get a ride home? I say, no, nah, man, I don't, I don't mind taking you home. So he jumped in the car. And I say, hey, man, let me talk to you. You know, what your parents do for a living? Oh, you know, my mom's a lawyer and my dad likes some astrophysicists or something like that. Like he make, they both make bread. Yeah. I say, okay. That's big cool. bread. Big bread. I said, they don't ever come to your games. Mm. He was like, man, I'm going to be honest. I go home and I just lie to my parents and I tell them that we win every game and and I did good and I made all these tackles and and things like that because I know they're not. Wow. I know they're not going to show up. Wow. You know, I know that they're not going to come. They don't come to my games, mm. you know. Wow. So here I am thinking, mm. man, I'm a bad parent, bro, because I ain't got all this money. I can't do this for my kids. I can't do that for my kids. Yeah. Mm. And this kid goes, man, you know what, Mr. Woods? I'm like, what? It was like, man, I wish you was my dad. Wow, I'm with like, all the all them cars in the in, in the driveway. And I'm like, wow. I was, I was like, why why you say that? He was like, man, because you and your wife, y'all always at the game and y'all cheering y'all son on and y'all cheering the team on. And if you don't necessarily make it, she's there. And if you don't necessarily if you she don't necessarily make it to there, and y'all yeah. always there, and like, you know. I just, my parents ain't going to do that, you know? And I was like, I don't make the money that they make. I don't live in a three-story home. I have none of that. Not even before football season was over with. Mm. His parents filing for divorce. This is a... This previous football, this football season we in now, or the one we just passed, yeah. So this just recent, wow. This just recently, his parents filed for divorce. Wow, all, all that money, money in the world, all that money. She, ain't, they can't, they ain't spending no time together. Mm. They don't do anything for the kids. I say that to say this. Mm. 
yeah, y'all right. Us black brothers ain't making all the money y'all want us to make. Mm. We wish we did. Yeah. I wish all my black brothers out here was strong hundred thousand ads and millionaires. Mm. But even if we was, guess what? Y'all still have problems with us. Mm. It, it'll still be something that we ain't doing. Wow. Mm. So even with all the money, what is going to be next? Mm. You know how many people yeah. I know who was born had parents, had fathers that had all the money, bought them everything, mm. all the shoes, all the Jordans, always lived in a nice home, got the car when they were 16. But their parent never was there, mm. never helped them with no homework, never chill with them, never just sat down and had a nice talk with the kid. Yeah. Kid grow yeah. up resenting their father. Mother grow up, ready. mother stayed so long. Now she want to divorce the father because the kid old enough because she don't ever spend no time with him. Yeah, they got all the money. They got the nice house. They got the nice house. They got everything. The bank yeah. account. She can walk away with half the money. She can get a beach house. She can get all that. But the only thing she don't got is the husband that she swore she married. Yeah. And this is not an indictment on going to go make money. But guess what? A lot comes with making money. Yeah. I once heard a billionaire say, I sacrificed everything. I didn't kill. Mm. I didn't kill. I put yeah. everything on the line to become a billionaire. Mm. Because I didn't care about nothing. Because I knew when I made a billionaire, they'll forget. They'll, they'll, they'll forget when the money starts taking care of everything. Mm. You know? Yeah. They, they have the problems now, but they, when the money starts taking care of everything, they ain't remember those problems no more. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and I get it. And I get it. Some of y'all maybe can overlook. Y'all maybe can overlook things for the money. But remember, man, that man may not be making all that money. Mm. But that man going to be there to lift your head up when your head is down. Mm. That man may be there to comfort you with that 50K a year. Mm. He may be there to uplift your dreams with that 50K a year. Yeah. Yeah. You doing good. You making that 120, 130, 140,000 now. That man going to be there to protect you when you need him. Mm. When that when that guy who made a two, three hundred thousand made no be there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I yeah. get it. Everybody wants this perfect ideology of life. This perfect life. And I'm not telling no woman not to strive for it. Mm. You know? But just understand when it comes to money, Mm. There's gonna be some sacrifices. Yeah. There's gonna be some sacrifices. It is. And I hope y'all don't have pre-made families already. Mm. Because you ain't gonna be able to move free if you're not a single woman with no kids and he's not a single man with no kids. Yeah. That's why I always tell people, especially if y'all are young, y'all ain't got no family started yet. You're gonna get married to a woman. You get married to her, y'all ain't got no kids. Give yourself at least two to four years to enjoy each other. Because two, two to four years to enjoy each other. Mm. Because once y'all start building a family, guess what, man? Everything changed. Yeah. Everything changed. Mm. You know, but yeah. we'll get we'll get back into that. We'll get back into yeah. that. On another, That's we'll, another we'll, episode right there, brother. Oh, another episode. We'll get into yeah. more in depth on dealing with situations with money and and the dating yeah. dynamic with, with money or whatever because you know i yeah. i know i know women gonna still want men with money and i trust me i, I want y'all to go strive and get whatever y'all want to i'm not here yeah. to tell you what you don't deserve and what you shouldn't get but all mm -hmm. i'm telling you is don't don't throw away don't throw away something that could potentially be good mm -hmm. because it's not the ready package right now yeah you know it's true just because it's not the ready package true. right now, don't 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 throw away something that can be possibly good. Just because they already they not made right now. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. But other than that, bro, that's yeah, man. pretty much all I want to talk about tonight, man. This is yeah, a yeah. life podcast. Anything you want to say, bro, Teague, on that topic before we shut it down? Man, um, you know, I agree. I agree with what you said, brother. Um, 
you know, if it, it takes a, a lot, like like you said, a billionaire, if he, he sacrificed a lot to get his billions. Yeah. So, you know, we all got to figure out what's important to us, you know, since, you know, this is a lady's supposed to ladies, y'all got to figure out what's, you know, you can't have it all, you know, so you want the money, you know, his time going to be lacking, you know, so, you know, you, you know, choose wisely, you know, whatever you, you know, whatever you, whatever you choose, you know, because like you said, you could be uh looking over a dude that's making 50,000 today, but in 10 years, he, you know, he can make it 500,000 or 5 yeah. million, you don't know where God could take, you don't know, whoever. You know what I mean? So just, uh, you know, keep that in mind when you're making your decisions, you know, because, uh, you know, we are defined by our choices. I, I right. definitely believe that, you know, and right. uh, like you say, man, I want I want people to have what they want, you know, just, yeah. you know, yeah. go for, go for what you want, you know, yeah. just, uh, you know, that's that's all I got, man. You know, I mean, you, you, you said you you said pretty much what, you know, the whole the whole kid and caboodle there, my brother. Yeah. You did that. Yes, you know? Just 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 just. I'm with just you. Just be uh, just have a, a open and receptive mind and a well thought out ideology of what you want. And just yeah. just remember, man, you know, when you, when you jump into everything, when you jump into something, <laughs> it ain't gonna always be what you expect it to be. Mm. You know, that's true. So that's true. this that's is true. a quality life podcast. This is the quality life podcast. I'm the boy Messiah Boss. This is my boy Ro T. Ro T. In the place to be. At the end of the day, brother. Hey, at the end of the day, uh, Q Life, Q Life, the number three at gmail.com. Q Life, the number three at gmail.com. That is the email you can get at me on Twitter, Messiah X5. At Messiah X5 on IG, you can get at me at Square Biz 1983. We got quality life uh podcast YouTube that we're gonna put some videos on. Yeah. You can go to my YouTube page at Messiah Boss, or you can catch my YouTube page. The very first link in my header in my bio, yeah. and that'll yeah. lead you to the page where all the the podcasts are. We ten deep, yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Hey, I appreciate everybody that uh you know that's tuning in. You know, another good episode, man. You know, man. You know, I, I hey, you know, we 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 gonna we gonna be consistent with y'all, man. And uh, you know, like Jay said. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. And you know, with us. I appreciate that. You know, and uh, you know, till the next time, man. You know, we'll see y'all when we see you. All right.